What is going on ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Uh, today is not so much of a reaction video, but it's more of a discussion video. Um, and it's about MMA legend, uh, the highest ranking MMA athlete to ever grace this planet Earth, Conor McGregor. Now Conor McGregor was uh, videoed by uh, TMZ, TMZ Sports the other day, punching an old man in the face, like sort of like the side of the head, uh, over a dispute that they apparently had over um, his whiskey or maybe some whiskey or something like that in a bar. Um, what I want to talk about, I guess, is just, you know, my opinion of Conor McGregor and how I have uh, sort of been following him since his upbringing and since he started. Uh, Conor McGregor, um, when he first started, was, you know, like this working class man who everyone sort of could relate to because he just wanted better for his family, better for his friends and the people around him. Uh, and he was a very hardworking kid, so he would work his butt off to get what he wanted. Um, and then when it came to MMA, I mean, obviously he's talented. He's one of the best strikers out there. Not the best wrestler, but he could wrestle if he had to. Um, and uh, as his fame started to climb, Conor McGregor's cockiness started to show more and more. And uh, as a supporter of him uh, for couple of years you know we his fans were quick to back him obviously um, when you know he would you know boast uh, you know like f flaunt flaunt his wealth once once he finally got it and stuff it's understandable you feel me from having nothing um, in your childhood and growing up being bullied and now you're beating people up and you're making money for of course you're gonna have an entire attitude switch um, so when Conor McGregor switched his attitude people were very quick to um you know, like, attack him for the type of person he was being, but we were also um, willing to see with him and see that, you know, he now has money flowing in and he now has um, a reputation and he's now famous. And with fame comes um, a lot of responsibility. And for someone who grew up the way that he did, he might not have handled that responsibility um, as appropriately as possible, but no one's perfect, you know, so we're willing to excuse him. Um, and then he was reported to cheat on his wife. And as scummy as this was, that's his personal life. And we, especially on this channel, we believe in um, innocent until proven guilty. And I do believe that he did it. Um, but that's his personal life. Um, I'm not going to hold a man against that, especially when you're that rich, that famous, and you've got hundreds, maybe thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of girls throwing themselves at you for a piece of the Conor McGregor fame and Conor McGregor's money. Um... So I, I leave that to the side. But now, I, and then there was the whole like throwing the chair into uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov's um, bus and injuring uh, people with the glass, you know, poking into some people's skin. And y even then you were like, okay, it's just the Conor McGregor's antics. But now, over some whiskey, you punch an old man in the side of the head. Now... I'm disappointed in two senses. One, I'm disappointed in Conor McGregor. Um, and I know that doesn't mean much to him because, you know, who the hell am I? But I'm a fan of yours. And I'm disappointed in you because as someone with your fame, with your responsibility, with your money, there are certain things that shouldn't be able to get to you. And I understand you're a fighter, so you got a short temper. You know, you you're used to this, like you're used to argument, you're used to having to come back at someone or having to fight people. But this is an old man and the disagreement is reported to be over whiskey and you punch them in the side of the head. So I'm disappointed in Conor McGregor as the man. I'm also disappointed in Conor McGregor as the fighter. And here's why. Your hands as an MMA fighter are registered weapons. You fight people for entertainment purposes and entertainment purposes only. Self-defense outside of work is the only reason for you to be using those hands to fight because at the end of the day, those are your money makers. Your hands are legally registered as weapons because you can kill someone if you actually had to. You're basically a legal murderer. You get in that ring and your aim is to kill that man, is to put him out if, you, if the ref allows you to. You keep going until the ref tells you to stop that fight. And this is an old man sitting, and I'm going to throw up the video um, from TMZ Sports, of the TMZ Sports. It's already got over five and a half million views because it's actually kind of mind-blowing how a professional athlete can't conduct himself. 
Someone who's made a hundred million plus dollars off of his career, off of selling whiskey and off of fighting. You, you don't need to be hitting guys over disputes like this. Just go home. Just go home. Just leave the bar. Just, you know, call him a wanker and walk off or something. But you don't have to punch the guy. Especially when he, he wasn't even, when you guys see the clip, I'll, I'll have the clip replaying over and over. Uh, probably two or three times. When, when you're watching the clip, this guy wasn't in Conor McGregor's face, wasn't, oh, you you know, screw you and blah, 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 blah. Conor McGregor approached this guy, punched him, and then got pulled off of him. And this is an old man. I'm not going to make this video too long because, like I said, who the hell am I to be talking about this? But come on, McGregor, you know better than this. This isn't, this isn't you. And if it is you, then you need to change. You need to change who you are as a person at the core because that's just not okay. Uh, that, that's going to be all for the video. It's not much to talk about. I just wanted to give my own personal opinions on uh, Conor McGregor. And hopefully, you know, something changes in this man. Because it's been three years since you've even won a fight. And now you're fighting old men. Like, come on, bro. Come on. That's it.